The Middlebury Institute of International Studies at Monterey MIIS, formerly known as the Monterey Institute of International Studies, is an American graduate school within Middlebury College, a private university located in Middlebury, Vermont. Established in 1955, the school provides instruction on a campus in Monterey, California. The institute offers a wide range of master's programs and certificates in various disciplines such as environmental policy, international policy, language teaching, and translation and interpretation. MIIS has two graduate professional schools known as the Graduate School of Translation, Interpretation, and Language Education and the Graduate School of International Policy and Management and several related centers. In 2011, the institute produced more Fulbright Fellows per capita than any other graduate school in the U.S. In 2015, Foreign Policy magazine ranked the institute at number 21 on its list of Top Master's Programs for a Policy Career in International Relations History Founding and expansion The Middlebury Institute was established in 1955 as the Monterey Institute for Foreign Studies In 1961, the school moved to its current downtown Monterey location, where it has since occupied 19 buildings that house two graduate schools, multiple centers, and numerous special programs. In 1997, the institute became the first professional graduate school in the world to offer a master's degree in international environmental policy. Middlebury Connection In December 2005, Middlebury College and the Monterey Institute signed an affiliation agreement that established a formal relationship between the two institutions. Under that agreement, the Monterey Institute Board of Trustees was reconstituted to include 13 members, nine of them with Middlebury connections and four former members of the Monterey Institute Board. In June 2010, Middlebury formalized its acquisition of the institute, which was formally designated a graduate school of Middlebury College. The Monterey Board of Trustees was renamed the Board of Governors, and subsequently the Board of Overseers, with ultimate responsibility for the institute residing with the Middlebury Board of Trustees. On January 7, 2015, Middlebury announced that the institute would become known as the Middlebury Institute of International Studies at Monterey. The name change was part of a general rebranding of Middlebury-affiliated institutions. Academic programs Graduate School of Translation, Interpretation, and Language Education The Graduate School of Translation, Interpretation, and Language Education GSTILE trains translators, interpreters including conference interpreters, localization experts, and language teachers. The institute offers four translation and interpretation related degree programs MA in Translation, MA in Translation, Localization Management, MA in Translation and Interpretation, and MA in Conference Interpretation in eight foreign languages Arabic, French, German, Japanese, Korean, Mandarin Chinese, Russian, and Spanish. It also offers Portuguese as a language for the Translation and Localization Management program. GSTILE also offers degrees for language teachers who will teach English to speakers of other languages TESOL and teach a foreign language. Certificate programs are additionally offered in these areas as well as language program administration. <laughs> Short-term language programs The Middlebury Institute of International Studies also offers several non-degree programs, including intensive ESL programs year-round, summer intensive language programs, custom language services, English for diplomats programs, short-term translation and interpretation courses, and international policy certificate programs. 
The institute is the only school in the Western Hemisphere offering graduate degrees in conference interpretation and in translation and interpretation between English Chinese, English Japanese and English Korean. Translation and localization management program History One of the most unique academic programs at the Middlebury Institute is the Translation and Localization Management TLM program. It is the only program in the United States, and one of the few programs in the world, that offers a master's degree in this field. It is essentially designed to provide hands-on experience and career-oriented specializations to its students who eventually work on a professional practicum towards their graduation. The program is featured among the top localization programs recommended by the Globalization and Localization Association and American Translators Association and it has been attracting an increasing number of students every year. According to Max Troyer, current TLM program chair, the program initially started in 2005 as a one-size-fits-all, meaning all incoming TLM students needed to be near-native in their second language, and they needed to be able to pass translation courses along with regular translation students. However, in fall 2017, the institute decided to split TLM into three specializations, translation, localization and management. The translation track focuses primarily on written translation, and students need to have near-native fluency in a second language. The localization and management tracks, on the other hand, do not require the same level of fluency in a second language, and mainly focus on localization technology and business processes respectively. This means that virtually any student can join the program regardless of the languages they speak, but as long as they speak English. Topic. Academics The program subdivides into three specializations, translation, localization, and management. Each of them has its specialized classes focusing on different sides of the industry. Translation specialization provides training in translation in both directions. Localization specialization stresses more on technology. Localization of video games and website and how to us content management systems are what students will learn in class. The students in management specialization learn skills needed to manage complex translation and localization projects. The program also equips all students with general skills crucial to future employment. For instance, students learn both SDL Trados and Memoc in school, which are among the most widely used CAT tools in the industry. Additionally, localization project management class walks students through the real process of localizing a product which equips students with skills needed when working with language service providers. Topic career outcomes The Graduate School of Translation, Interpretation, and Language Education offers various series of career trainings. Every semester, the Center for Advising and Career Services CACS offers a career management class specifically designed for translation, interpretation, and localization management TILM students. During the career training lectures, students get a deep insight of the ecosystem of the language industry at the first place. Career advisors work one-on-one -on -one with students to talk about professional documents, such as resume, cover letter, and how to optimize the application tracking system. Networking opportunities are also provided both on and off campus. Students work closely with second year students and alumnus on campus to practice networking and interviewing skills. At the same time, career advisors guide students to walk through the financial side of the industry to help students prepare their own personal income statement before the actual compensation negotiation so that students can perform better during the package negotiation. A huge portion of translators and interpreters also work as freelancers in the industry. Therefore, trainings on how to become a freelancer are also provided in the career training seminar. In the localization industry, cross-cultural business communications and knowledge in both source and target languages is a must. The CEO at Medialocate, Mr. Stefan Linz stated that virtually all of the project managers have earned MA degrees from MIIS, and MIIS is a combination of graduate schools focused on language and cross-cultural business communications. 
Having MIIS trained professionals throughout the organization give clients a distinct advantage as our staff understand not only customer language needs, but their business needs as well. As a part of career training, students head to Silicon Valley each month to attend the International Multilingual User Group events that are hosted by companies such as Google, Adobe, Facebook, Netflix, etc. GISTLE students also attend actively in localization conferences such as Lockworld, Global and Localization Association Gala, and American Translators Association ADA. Employers for MIIS's recent graduates includes, the United Nations, the European Union, China Ministry of Education, China Ministry of Foreign Affairs, India Ministry of Foreign Affairs, U.S. Department of State, Inter-American Development Bank, Mount Sinai Hospital, Stanford Hospital, Stanford University, Moravia, SDL, Venga Global, Honda, TransPerfect, Salesforce, Google, Facebook, Apple. Topic Graduate School of International Policy and Management The Graduate School of International Policy and Management GSIPM offers both graduate degree and non-degree programs. Master's degrees are offered in disciplines including International Education Management, International Environment Policy, International Policy and Development, International Trade and Economic Diplomacy, Nonproliferation and Terrorism Studies, and Public Administration. The following summarizes the academic purpose of each GSIPM program. The International Education Management Program trains professionals interested in working in study abroad, exchange programs, and international student affairs. Students learn about program management, education administration, and intercultural communication through their coursework at MIIS and their international internship. The International Environmental Policy Program is the world's first international environmental policy program. It trains top leaders in the environmental policy field from government, business, and non-governmental organizations. The MA program gives students the option to specialize in issues such as land and marine conservation, sustainable development, and energy and climate change. The International Policy and Development Program has master's degree and certificate programs that train students for careers in government, nonprofit organizations, or the private sector. The MA program offers several optional areas of concentration, including environmental sustainability, gender, power, and identity, human rights and advocacy, and human security. The International Trade and Economic Diplomacy program trains trade and economic professionals with coursework in policy analysis, trade negotiations, communications, and team building. The program takes place over 18 months and includes a semester in Washington, D.C. The Nonproliferation and Terrorism Studies program is one of the first graduate programs in the world to combine issues of counter-terrorism and nuclear nonproliferation. The NPTS program also offers a dual degree with the Moscow State Institute of International Relations wherein students may opt to receive a second accompanying master's degree in international affairs with a specialization in WMD nonproliferation, nuclear policy, and global security. The Master of Public Administration MPA program is a professional postgraduate degree in public administration. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Immersive Learning Programs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Frontier Market Scouts Program FMS. <laughs> The Middlebury Institute of International Studies, in partnership with Village Capital has founded and developed this program. The FMS program aims to train compassionate and capable young professionals into talent scouts and investment managers to serve as local entrepreneurs and social-minded investors in low-income and weak capital regions of the world. Topic design, Partnering, Management and Innovation Program DPMI. DPMI is a leadership certificate in international development project management and social change. Over the intensive three-week program, participants learn a wide variety of concepts, tools, and technologies for the international development and social change field. DPMI is offered every January in California and Rwanda, and every May, June in Monterey, Washington, D.C., and Kenya. Since 2014, the DPMI Rwanda training has been hosted by Partners in Health PIH, and integrates the completion of a client project. Since 2015, the DPMI Kenya training has been hosted by Locus The Point of International Development. 
Topic: <laughs> Winter Practica. During the January term, the Middlebury Institute regularly organizes opportunities for students to gain real-world experience and practice their languages of study in country. The Institute has offered programs in Chile, El Salvador, Nepal, the Czech Republic, Rwanda, Cuba, Spain, France, and Peru. <laughs> Research centers and initiatives Center for the Blue Economy CBE. The Center for the Blue Economy CBE is the research center managed by MIIS. CBE was founded in year 2011 and focuses mainly on the research related to ocean and coastal economy. The center also complements the International Environmental Policy Program by offering specialization course in ocean and coastal resource management. The center is working in collaboration with various local and national organizations on a wide range of topics including climate adaptation in coastal areas, governing environmental issues and also finding solution to problems that are affecting ocean and coastal economies. CBE is home to the National Ocean Economics Program, which compiles, analyzes, and publishes economic data about changes and trends along the U.S. coast and in coastal waters. CBE also offers summer fellowships to the students to work on wide range of projects related to ocean and coastal resource management. The Speakers Series, Sustainability Speaker Series, and the Marine Speaker Series, organized by the Center, is a unique platform where experts working in different fields, mainly oceans and coastal issues, are invited to deliver lectures. This Speaker Series is organized every year and is open for students, researchers, faculty, and public. The Center has its own peer-reviewed journal, Journal of Ocean and Coastal Economics (JOCE), also that has published around 57 research articles. Topic James Martin Center for Nonproliferation Studies CNS The James Center for Nonproliferation Studies CNS is an American research center located in Monterey, California. It was founded in 1989 by William Potter, world-renowned expert on nuclear nonproliferation. It is the largest non-governmental organization in the world dedicated to studying, researching and training specialists in combating the spread of weapons of mass destruction WMD. Its stated mission is to train the next generation of nonproliferation specialists. CNS operates offices in Monterey, Calif, Washington, D.C., and Vienna, Austria. These offices offer a variety of programs. Publications CNS publishes the Nonproliferation Review, a journal in which authors coming from different regions and disciplines discuss the causes and consequences of nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons as well as the spread of them. Also it focuses on different case studies, reports, and book reviews about many topics, weapon programs, treaties and export controls, terrorism, disarmament, and others. The review dates from 1994 to the present and it is published in different months of the year. The Inventory of International Nonproliferation Organizations and Regimes is a website that provides information related to disarmament, nonproliferation of weapons of mass destruction, and arms control. It focuses on treaties, regimes and organizations from different parts of the world that deal with international security topics. CNS Analysis and Papers, is an online website that provides experts' analyses of non-proliferation, disarmament and other related topics. Papers are divided according to the regions Americas, Asia, East Asia, Eurasia, Russia, Europe, Middle East, Africa, South Asia and they are mostly based on current events. Additionally, CNS provides the public with tutorials and videos where scholars and experts analyze current events related to non-proliferation. NukeTube Nonproliferation Multimedia Library provides the readers with open public online material. Notable scholars Notable CNS scholars include current director William Potter, an expert in nuclear terrorism and proliferation developments, who worked at the Arms Control Disarmament Agency, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and the RAND Corporation, Elena Sakova, deputy director, expert in fissile materials security and control and nuclear proliferation in Eurasia, Leonard S. Spector, deputy director with previous expertise working at U.S. National Nuclear Security Administration, 
Education (NNSA), Laura Rockwood, Executive Director with expertise in IAEA safeguards and disarmament verification, Jeffrey Lewis, Director of East Asia Nonproliferation Program who worked at the Nuclear Strategy and Nonproliferation Initiative at the New America Foundation, and Raymond Zelinskas, former Director of Chemical and Biological Weapons Program. Additionally, there are more than 40 other experts currently working at the center. Topic: <laughs> Graduate Initiative in Russian Studies. The Graduate Initiative in Russian Studies (GURS) is a program that offers its participants opportunities to exchange perspectives with Russian scholars, professionals, and students through its five pillars: the Visiting Experts Program, Monterey Summer Symposium on Russia, awards for research and travel to Russia, Russian-English translation of public opinion polls, U.S.-Russia dialogue series. Each year, the GERS invites a number of leading experts on issues related to Russia to lecture at MIIS. These speakers are the foremost specialists in their respective disciplines, such as political studies, economics, sociology, history, and arts. These professionals come from various regions of the world, giving their lectures in either Russian or in English. The students and experts draw from their diverse professional and cultural backgrounds to change and evolve their ideas on relevant topics. In the summer, GERS organizes a Monterey Summer Symposium on Russia MSSR, which is a seven-week lecture and seminar-based program on internationally relevant Russian issues, designed to offer the next generation of Russia specialists an opportunity to learn from leading experts in the field. The topics covered in this program include history, art, diplomacy, and nonproliferation. MSSR participants scholars are recruited through a competitive process from the world's top universities and programs on Russian affairs. The inaugural session of MSSR was held in 2017, consist of 13 MA and PhD candidates. The symposium ran 220 hours of classroom instruction, taught by 25 experts on Russian studies and international relations. Of the 105 classroom sessions, 77 were taught in Russian. Podcasts and videos from the 2017 and 2018 symposia, alongside with scheduling and application details can be found on the official page of the Graduate Initiative in Russian Studies, under the Monterey Summer Symposium section. Russian-speaking students of the Middlebury Institute can intern and research in Russia during their summer and fall semesters. In the past, program participants focused on terrorism and nonproliferation. In the fall semester of 2018, students partner with the Moscow State Institute of International Relations to research the impact of private-public partnerships and cooperation between universities on multi-track diplomacy. The GERS Fellows translate questionnaires from Russian into English in order to support the Yuri Levada Analytical Center, an independent Russian non-governmental organization, which publishes sociological research. Recent translated polls describe Russian public opinion on the 2018 Winter Olympics participation, cultural taboos, pride and patriotism, Lenin's mausoleum, terrorist attacks, unemployment, and Russia EU relationships. The U.S. Russian Dialogue Series program enables students from the Middlebury Institute and the Moscow State Institute exchange perspectives on current issues. The topics of recent English-Russian teleconference dialogues have included Syria, point of no return, conflicting threat assessments on the DPRK nuclear program, and U.S.-Russian cooperation in the fight against ISIS. Notable faculty Jan Nippers Black, a prolific writer and longtime educator in the field of human rights. She sits on the board of Amnesty International USA and has been honored by multiple domestic and international rights organizations for her commitment to advocacy. Avner Cohen, an Israeli-American writer, historian, and professor who is well known for his works on nuclear weapons in the Middle East, he authored the seminal work, Israel and the Bomb, which chronicled the Israeli nuclear program and was published in 1998. Jeffrey DeBelco, an expert on security and the environment and the director of the Environmental Change and Security Program at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars in Washington, D.C. Ferenc Dalnoki Vares, a nuclear physicist and scientist in residence at the James Martin Center for Nonproliferation Studies. Member of the Sudbury Neutrino Observatory team whose work was awarded the 2015 Nobel Prize in Physics. 
B. G. Rett, Russell D. Howard, Brigadier General retired Russell D. Howard is President of Howard's Global Solutions, Director of Montrep, and an adjunct professor at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies. He is also a senior fellow at Joint Special Operations University, senior mentor for Development Alternatives Incorporated, senior advisor for the Singapore Home Team Academy, and on the board of advisors for Laser Shot Incorporated. Beryl Levenger, a former senior official with CARE, Save the Children, Education Development Center, and AFS Intercultural Programs, founder of the Peace Corps Fellows Program, co-founder of Interaction, and, co-founder with Vicky Colbert and Oscar Mogollon of the internationally acclaimed Escuela Nueva New School movement. Jeffrey Lewis, adjunct professor, director of the East Asia Nonproliferation Program at the James Martin Center for Nonproliferation Studies, and a widely quoted expert on North Korea's nuclear program. William Potter, expert on nuclear nonproliferation. Moira Rusin, an economist by trade, a certified anti-money laundering specialist CAMS, and a certified financial crime specialist CFCS, who has been teaching courses on international economics, financial crime, and terrorist financing for over 17 years at the Institute. <laughs> <laughs> William Tell Coleman Library The William Tell Coleman Library at the Middlebury Institute of International Studies was opened in 1955. The name of the library is associated with the American pioneer William Tell Coleman, whose family donated money in the early days of the Institute. Since opening, the library has been serving as a central research hub for students, faculties, staff, and the local community. The first librarian at the school was World War II survivor and Polish Jew Eva Schroeder. The library provides access to broad resources such as technology, books in different languages, and online databases. <inaudible> <inaudible> library technology The William Tell Coleman Library provides computers, printers, scanners, smartboards, a video conference room, and canopy streaming. Topic. Access to information The MIIS Library provides access to a wide range of electronic and printed resources such as print books and e-books, print periodicals and e-journals, and encyclopedias. The Institute Library's collection has 95,000 print volumes, more than 600 print periodical subscriptions, and 35 daily and weekly newspapers. The library is well known for its extensive and in-depth specialized dictionaries in trade, diplomacy, nonproliferation and translation interpretation studies. More than 30% of the library's collection is in a language other than English. The most significant are Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Russian, Arabic, French, Spanish, German, and Portuguese. It also has a large collection of DVDs and streaming films. The library subscribes to over 50 online databases and hundreds of online academic journals JSTOR, IMF eLibrary, World Bank, eLibrary etc. Since Middlebury College in Vermont and Middlebury Institute have been under the same umbrella, MIIS students have priority access to the Middlebury College's library through interlibrary loan service. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Library activities. Throughout the year, the MIIS Library offers art exhibits, concerts, writing retreats and instructional workshops. Every year in April, the library organizes a special event for National Library Week. <laughs> <laughs> Student life <laughs> Nationality International students make up more than 30% of the institute's student body. In the 2014-15 academic year they came from more than 40 countries. <laughs> <laughs> student clubs <laughs> Build 
Beyond Yourself in Language Development Build is a student-run organization that provides free low-level language classes in 13 languages to the Middlebury Institute of International Studies (MIIS) community. Classes are taught by students enrolled in the TESOL and Teaching Foreign Language programs at MIIS. Topic: <laughs> Toastmasters International MIIS Toastmasters is an on-campus chapter of Toastmasters International, a non-profit educational organization that operates clubs worldwide for the purpose of helping members improve their communication, public speaking, and leadership skills. The club is run by MIIS students, and offers a forum for improving public speaking skills and mastering executive presence. The club is open to members of the Monterey community, and meets weekly. Notable alumni Jose Ibar, President of Richard J. Daly College Anna Cummins, Co-Founder of Five Gyres Sam Farr, the U.S. Representative for California's 17th Congressional District, serving since 1993 Elaine White Gomez, Ambassador of Costa Rica to the United Nations Brendan Kyle Hatcher, U.S. Diplomat Catherine Daniels Kurz, founder and executive editor on the Women's International Perspective Matthew Levin, ambassador of Canada to Spain and Andorra. He was previously the ambassador of Canada to Cuba and Colombia. Iwandro Magalhaes, chief interpreter, International Telecommunication Union. Werner Romero, Fulbright Fellow and ambassador of El Salvador to the United Kingdom. Romero was previously the ambassador of El Salvador to Israel. Dagubati Venkatesh, a popular actor in Telugu film industry. Samuel A. Worthington, Fulbright Fellow and President and CEO of Interaction. <laughs> 